Hello, and welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. Today I'll be covering how to add reflections and lighting using physical models in your scene. So in this case, in this scene, I might want to add a reflection across this, the screen here, where there's a piece of glass that overlays the image, or I might want to add some little detail lighting to some other part of this model. So what I can do is load in a second model by going to import, and in this case I'm going to bring in a simple single surface plane. Open that up, make sure add to scene is enabled, and the only other thing I need to worry about here is coordinates. I'm just going to set those to automatic so that they don't scale. And there we go. Now I can move this plane by right clicking, going to move object. I can also look at my new plane here in the scene tree and I can always right click on a plane or any model and move the object here in the scene tree. So I'm just going to move this and rotate it and move it up a little bit. Oops. Let's just move that back over here. There we go. And I'm going to scale that down. Done. Okay, so now with this object, I can double click on the surface, and that'll bring me over to the material properties, or I can then change this to an emissive. And now with an emissive, I can set in the color of the light I want. So just for effect, I'll dial in some red. And then I can increase the intensity, and it'll cast as a light onto the object. So I'm just going to set that to white. And there we go. So now I can continue to move this. So right click, move object. And I'm just going to bring this in towards the model and just move it over a bit. Now, of course, I don't want to see the actual object in the way of the model. So what I can do is in the material properties, disable visible to eye. And now the object is still there and I can still click on it. I can even right click and say move object and I can continue to move that object. It's just invisible to the eye or the camera in Keyshot. So I can use this to continue to position this object. I can also dial down the material properties here to get a more subtle effect. I might scale this up. And you can see now I have a nice light casting across this surface, which really shows you that there's this nice glass covering the surface here, giving that nice reflection, but then it also lights up the rest of the model, creating a nice result. To take this to the next level, I can actually add textures, so I'm going to bring back the visibility here, and I can add some detail, so go to textures, and I can really load in any image here. If I want to add some lines, I can just add those in, and with some models, the mapping might not work with the default UV coordinates. So I'm going to set that, in this case, to planar Y. And I can actually now adjust the lighting either by scaling the model itself or by actually scaling the texture within the model. And I can also rotate the texture within the model here by using the angle in the texture mapping tab. I'm going to turn off the visibility so that we can just concentrate on the result of the model go back to the texture and we can actually go higher on the scale here let's go to 10 and I can shift that texture around until I get those reflections hitting where I want and additionally I can right click on my plane move and bring this over a bit and maybe now I want to actually scale this some more so I can scale this up Maybe move it away from the model a little bit so it has less sharp of, a, of an effect. And basically I just go, in, go ahead and, as much as I want, adjust the result here by moving and adjusting material properties. If I go back to parameters, I can increase the intensity. Or I could even switch out the texture to something a little different. I'm going to bring back the visible to eye, move object, and I'll just bring this a little closer to the, to the model here again. Oops, that's rotating. 
Let's just bring that about like that and scale it back down a little bit. So another type of texture you might be interested in using on an emissive plane like this is a simple gradient or a ramp. Load that in and I'm going to set my angle back to zero and I'm going to actually use the position button here to center this on the text on the surface a little bit better. And I can scale this so I get multiple. I'm just going to scale it up so it hits across the entire surface. Let's do maybe seven on the scale. And now the result on the model will reflect with that gradient. So let's go ahead and hide that again from the camera and maybe increase the intensity a little bit. And you can see how you get this nice natural fade in that in the surface glass here. So I'm going to bring that down, scale it up a little bit, and maybe just bring the intensity down. And that's a fairly nice result. A nice little trick here is if I want the dark part of the gradient to hit from here and it gets lighter as it goes back, well I can then just go back to the texture, click flip, and it will flip that direction. Just increase the intensity here a little bit and see the result you get. Now of course you don't, you're not limited to simple planes. You can really bring in any object to act as an emissive. In fact, I can just quickly double click on an object up here, any part of the model, set it to emissive, and I can create light from this object and hide it from the camera. So you're not limited to any sort of specific models. You can really add an emissive material to supplement your lighting to any model or you can bring in a separate model.